Thank you. The President, please be seated. The Court is now back in session. We would like now to hand over to the lead call lawyer for the civil parties to proceed with the questions for another 15 minutes. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, je vais venir maintenant, uh, I Monsieur le témoin, à la période like pendant laquelle vous étiez dans l'unité Y10 when you were part of unit y et à cette unité en particulier. Qui était le chef and de Camille? Et dans cette unité, qui était Camille's um, boss? Non, c'est le Camille, mais c'est un autre. Respond. Boss. I don't know. I know that Bang was the person who was overly in, overly in charge. And above Pong, who was there? Response. I don't know. Monsieur, je, j'aimerais vous montrer Witness, un document. I now would like to show you a document. This is document D121-6.2. ERN en français. French ERN 0-0-4-0-0-8-2-4-2. En anglais. English. 0-0-4-3-4-0. Zero. Et en Khmer, Khmer zero, 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 quatre, four, zero, zero, huit, eight, deux, two, deux, two, cinq. Five. Est-ce que je peux projeter ce document, May I please uh, display this document on the screen and provide témoin. a Khmer copy to the witness? The President, you may proceed. The court officer is oui, now instructed to take the hard copy of the document and have it handed over to the witness. Monsieur, est-ce que vous préférez lire witness, le document? Do you prefer Reading the document, or would you like me to read it to you? And I'll ask you. Response: uh, It would be Réponse. better if you read it to me. Ce document est un document This document is a document Duke. that was drafted by Duke. Et il indique ceci. And he indicates the following. Je cite. And I will quote. Annotation. Annotation. Colon, 19 April 1978 has spied. Uh, 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 the uh, President, uh, Council, uh, could you please uh, hold on because uh, Council for Kilsom Pond is uh, on his feet. He may proceed first. Council. On. Thank you, Mr. President. Just now, Council for the Civil Parties said that the document belonged to Deutsch. My question is uh, how this document is relevant before us uh, today because uh, this document is not relevant to this witness. Well, eh bien, Monsieur le Président, si then, on vous laisse Mr. faire la lecture, President, on verra tout de suite en quoi ce document est pertinent puisqu'il parle de Camille et de Y10. Camille is relevant because it does speak about Camille and about uh, Y10. The President, could counsel uh, give your reasoning behind this uh, 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 against the objection before the uh, Chamber can rule on this, and then you may proceed after our deliberation. Counsel for Nuanche, we noted you on your feet. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to note that I think the usual procedure is to first ask the witness if he's familiar with the document, and then we can put it on the screen. If I'm not mistaken. 
we need to establish some some connection between the witness and the document, some entre le connection in terms of knowledge. Uh, de ses connaissances. The President, uh, Le President, Council for the Civil Party, you are now advised uh, to follow the practices uh, we already been following. You may ask uh, the witness whether he is familiar with the document, and if not, uh, then the document will be removed, and you may proceed uh, to your line of questioning, but not uh, putting the document to the witness and then questions are drawn from the document that the witness may say he has not been familiar with. So uh, it would be better if uh, we try to follow the set rule and standard. Okay, so then we can remove the document and I will uh, put questions to the witness anyway. The President, uh, court officer is now instructed to remove the document from witness, and uh, the document is uh, requested to be removed from the screen. Monsieur, est-ce que vous savez si Monsieur Kami était membre du comité S71? Was a member of the committee of S71. Response. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Vous avez dit, monsieur, you que des personnes ont disparu à Y10. Et vous avez dit hier que vous ne saviez pas où ils étaient envoyés. Je voudrais vous rappeler like vos déclarations dans le document E3-103, document vos réponses 7 and, uh, et 8. And I'd like to remind you of your answers 7 and 8. Vous avez dit and à ce moment-là, et on vous a remis le document, les procureurs vous ont remis le document, and the document was given to vous you. avez dit à la question 7, and on a question 7 you said, qui était, saviez-vous s'il y avait des was, personnes disparues you know dans l'unité Y10 had Vous avez répondu, at, Y10, certes, il y en avait, said, yes, indeed, et il ne s'agissait que de ceux qui ont été accusés de traître, puis qui ont été emmenés pour être traités, mais je ne sais pas où. Mais je ne sais pas où ils ont été emmenés. Back then, I thought that they had been brought away to be killed, but I didn't know where they had been brought to, and I was so afraid that I might also be arrested. Camille would tell me that they had been assigned to another location, and at question eight, Avez-vous entendu Which parler is, des arrestations de Koi Tun Von Vet and Hu Nim's arrests? Vous avez dit and you said à back then, soit avant 79, that is to say, before 1979, I knew that they had been killed, but the information was not made public. Do you, Do you confirm that these are, are uh, your statements before the co-investigating judges? Uh, <coughs> Response. Response. Regarding Takun or Tado, uh, what is the name you're referring to? Could you please repeat it, uh, the, the, the final name you mentioned? Le dernier nom que vous avez dit. Yes, you can just drop the names. I'm going to simply put questions to you about answer seven. Which, uh, in which you speak about the people from Y10. You said that people within Y10 accused of being traitors were brought away to be killed. And you said that you uh, believed that they had been brought away to be killed. Can you confirm uh, what you had said then? Response. Back then, I did say so. And people, oui, some people cela. were taken away. Effectivement emmené. Uh, whether they were taken to be <coughs> killed or they were relocated, tués, uh, ou les I'm not sure, but uh, they were removed. Je ne sais pas. En tout cas, ces personnes-là partaient de, euh, de Y20, de Y10. Ah, ah. 
Vous, monsieur, à Y10, vous étiez garde du corps de Nunchea et vous avez été aussi messager de Nunchea. Parmi les gens qui étaient à Y10, est-ce qu'il y avait des gens qui étaient chargés d'arrêter de, des personnes I did not know them uh, because Je we had uh, different designation. Nos attributions étaient différentes. Est-ce qu'il y avait des gens qui étaient chargés à Y10 de garder At certaines personnes y de... were there some emprisonnées, people je veux dire in charge of guarding persons who were in prison? I did not know Je it ne either. Savais pas. Je n'étais pas au courant de cela. Sur votre mission de messager, monsieur, est-ce que vous vous rappelez avoir téléphoné à Douk à la demande de Nunchia pour fixer des rendez-vous Set appointments I did not have access to telephone at that time. Monsieur, je voudrais vous rappeler la question et la réponse 117. Mr. Witness, let me remind you of question and answer 117, document D-103. Dans lequel la question qui vous est posée par le juge d'instruction The co indique, judge puts the following to le juge d'instruction cite ce qu'a dit M. Duc le matin même et il dit « Teung est venu sans doute tous les trois ou cinq jours pour prendre les procès-verbaux des aveux. Lorsque Nunchea voulait me voir, il me demandait de sortir de S21. À ce moment-là, son messager, en la personne de Teung, m'en informait par le moyen du téléphone. Vous avez répondu c'est tout à fait correct. Est-ce que vous confirmez cette réponse aujourd'hui Je suggère que l'on supprime cela. It is not true. Monsieur, est-ce que vous aviez connaissance de l'utilisation de Witness, mots de passe Are you aware of the use of passwords I do not know. Non. J'ai presque terminé. I am almost done. Lors de vos séances de formation, est-ce que vous avez souvenir d'avoir reçu une charte d'éthique avec douze principes A document of ethics containing 12 principles. Yes, uh, we oui, did receive nous avons and we had to read it every day cela. because we nous had to understand ce document What, tous les jours, nous uh, devions constituted the bien moral comprendre uh, les fondements moraux quality of the people. So uh, we had to des, study uh, that. Uh, it was very important Il because they taught us uh, to strengthen our standpoint in order to serve notre, uh, the people and the nation. Pour servir le peuple et la nation. Bah. Merci. Et qu'arrivait-il aux gens qui ne respectaient pas ces douze points d'éthique And what happened to persons who did not abide by those 12 points of ethics? If they did not abide by or they failed to abide by those uh, moral principles, then uh, they would be re-educated. Ils se faisaient rééduquer. Et au-delà de la rééducation, est-ce qu'il y avait autre chose And over and above the education or re-education, was there something else No, 
There was nothing else. Non. It was only re-education and, and Les gens they did it uh, in respective uh, section. Cela se faisait dans les sections respectives. Monsieur, je voudrais vous rappeler la question et la réponse 172 du document D234-23. Cela parle de la charte d'éthique et on vous pose la question, si on avait transgressé cela, qu'est-ce qu'on aurait subi Et vous répondez, si on avait transgressé, on devait mourir. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer un peu cette réponse Can you explain what you meant by that answer? I cannot explain. Je ne peux pas expliquer. Mais vous la confirmez, vous l'avez dit? But do you confirm that that is what you stated? Yes, I do. Oui. Merci. Thank you. J'ai une dernière question, monsieur. I have one last question for you, sir. Peut-être deux. Or perhaps two. Ma première question est à l'époque, entre 75 et 79, est-ce que vous étiez libre Were you a free man At that time, the rule was very strict. Est-ce que je dois comprendre? Que dois-je comprendre, Monsieur? What should I understand by that answer, Sir? To my understanding, Pour we had to respect the organization. Otherwise, Sinon, we would be uh, uh, we would be uh, accused of wrongdoing. Accusé de conduite délictueuse. Et ma dernière question, monsieur, and this is my last question, est la suivante. Est-ce que, is à l'époque, vous aviez peur During that period, were you afraid Yes, I was, I was afraid. Oui, j'avais peur. De quoi Afraid of what I was afraid of... J'avais peur... Committing any wrongdoing. De commettre un délit. <coughs> Et qu'est-ce qui serait arrivé si vous commettiez un délit? And what would have happened if you committed such wrongdoing or an offence? I was afraid because if I committed any wrongdoing, I would be taken away or I would uh, be subjected to uh, execution or so. Thank you, sir. I have no further questions for you. The President, thank you. Le président, merci. I would like to ask fellow judges on the bench, uh, do you have any Mes question to put to the witness? Juges, avez -vous des If questions à poser there is no question, témoins. then I would like to si ce turn cas, the floor over to the defense counsel for Nunjie to put question to this witness. And it would be uh, helpful if the Defense Council for Nunjie can indicate as to how much time they would need uh, to put questions to this witness. And you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Hopefully this will be a welcome submission, given some of the impeachment that's already been accomplished today by my colleagues on the other side of the stage. We will need significantly less time 
Um, I expect myself to take about an hour. Major Sonarun, if he has any questions at all, uh, he's indicating that he doesn't. So if there's some anxiety about time, I could surely complete uh, my examination before the coffee break tomorrow morning, if your honors have questions. Si, de surcroît, Madame, oui. Messieurs les juges ont des questions à poser. Well, if you will take Président, only one hour or so, then you may proceed uh, si from now on. Si vous n'avez uh, qu'une heure de questions, uh, vous pouvez commencer tout de suite. Thank you, Your Honor. Merci. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Monsieur le Président. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Mr. Witness, I'm going to start out this afternoon by referring to three documents, three documents which we've referred to already over the course of the last two days and that I believe you are familiar with, just to go step by step. The first document I'd like to refer to is E3-103. And that's English. ERN 00204018 French ERN 00490622 through 00490626 and Khmer ERN 00204013 through 00204017. And that, Mr. Witness, is a statement, a written record of an interview with the Office of Co-Investigating Judges that's dated for December 2007. Are you, in fact, still familiar with that document? No, I, 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 I am not. I. I'm not. A you've been. Re you've been referring to the document over the, the course of the last two days. Perhaps you could have a look at it. I believe it's in front of you already. It's one of the statements that's formed the basis of quite a bit of your testimony since you've come into this courtroom. Sorry, I cannot hear the translation. Court officer, please uh, check his uh, headphone to ensure Monsieur, that uh, the battery is uh, que la batterie still, uh, still remains and uh, make sure that uh, his uh, headphone is working et well. Que les écouteurs du témoin and sont en uh, état de we would also like to check with the defense counsel whether or not you have any document to present to, que the, la defense a des uh, to the witness. Uh, I believe the witness has the document. It's E3-103. You've been testifying about it for the last two days. I do have a spare copy if that assists. It appears that the accused, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, the witness does not have a copy of that document. But officer, please uh, take the document from the defense and present it to the witness. Veuillez, Monsieur l'huissier, le lui remettre. And perhaps, uh, pursuant to the procedure, it should be placed on the screen as well. That way, everybody else can see it. Cela est stipulé par notre procédure afin que tout un chacun puisse l'avoir. 
Yes, please, please proceed. Bien, uh, dit le président. The assistant, please uh, make sure that the document is displayed on the computer screen. Are you able to read that uh, document, Mr. Witness? Le témoin, Are you able to see uh, it and, and to read it and to témoin, understand it? Que vous pouvez lire et comprendre ce document? Could you please read it for me? It would be better if you read it for me. Well, it's a five-page document. It's, it's right there in front of you. Perhaps you could leaf through it. Tell me if you're familiar with it. It's a statement you made. Ce sont des énoncés produits par vous-même. C'est un document que, en principe, vous connaissez. I do not understand your question. The president. Witness, uh, can you read uh, the document before you? I am sorry, I cannot hear the translation well. The president, but can you read? Can you read the document before you? Response. I cannot read it well, so I, it would be better if uh, it is read for me. Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure I understand. You, you do read Khmer, is that that's correct? Conseil, je ne comprends pas bien. Vous lisez le Khmer, que je sache, n'est-ce pas? Yes, I do, but uh, oui, very little. Le Khmer, okay, mais, okay. If, if it's a beaucoup. question of being tired, Mr. Witness, I'm, I'm happy Monsieur to témoin, si fatigué, give you a rest and we can start uh, tomorrow. President, the co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Monsieur le co-procureur, vous avez la parole. Uh, yes, I object to, Merci. and counsel is, is badgering this witness. He's le made clear that he, that he doesn't read uh, very well, and because of that, we've been reading the relevant passages for him. On lui donne if lecture des counsel has pertinent. some questions, uh, he should follow that. It's not a matter of the witness being tired. The witness um, has expressed that it is easier for him uh, if the person asking the question reads from the document that's been going on for the last day and a half. C'est-à-dire qu'on lit à voix haute le passage qui concerne la question qu'on va poser. Le président. The president, um, witness, do you require that uh, the defendant read uh, this uh, portion of this uh, document for you? Les passages du document Response. Vous soyez yes. lu à voix haute, n'est-ce pas Réponse oui. Uh, the president. President. Well, the testimony is not uh, yet uh, complete. Uh, there are other parties, namely the defense will be putting questions to you as well. Uh, so if uh, you cannot read, uh, then uh, you can request that the portion of the document be read uh, uh, to you. The defense counsel may read a portion of the uh, documents that they want to ask a question to you. So other parties have already done that uh, in the last few days. Your Honor, perhaps I can assist. Uh, first of all, I'm obviously not trying to badger anyone. I don't have any substantive questions about the content of this document, so perhaps uh, if I try another route, I'll be able to accomplish what I'm after. Mr. Witness, this purports to be a statement that you made to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges on the 4th of December 2007. And as I've said before, you've been commenting on this document over the course of the last two days. So my first question is, do you remember making this statement to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges 
on the 4th of December 2007. I cannot recall it. Do you remember placing your thumbprint on any pages of that document? Perhaps you could have a look at it. Your thumbprint is on the document, or purports, what purports to be your thumbprint is on that document. Perhaps you could look at the bottom of each page and at the last page. And would that... Yes, I remember it. Okay. So you remember making this statement. You remember giving this statement to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges. Yes, I do. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And do you remember affixing your thumbprint to the bottom of each page and to the final page? And I believe under your thumbprint on the final page is a signature. Do you remember putting your thumbprint and your signature on that document? I do not remember. Do you remember taking an oath before you gave this statement, as indicated on the second page of the document? This person took an oath in accordance with the provisions of Rule 24 of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers. Do you remember taking such an oath? I uh, remember it, uh, but at that time I did not want to uh, take an oath, but uh, since they Forced me, forced me to um, take an oath. I, I simply followed. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Is your testimony that the, someone from the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges forced you to take an oath? Is that what you've just said? My understanding is it was not a force, but Je pas été contraint, uh, I did not know the procedure of uh, taking an oath, but at that time they asked me to take an oath, and I, I, I took it. Et puis je fait. But at that time, uh, they, uh, if they asked me whether or not I had Mais killed anyone, uh, si then on uh, me si tué quelqu'un ou pas. I did not really understand Je the procedures, but uh, since they procedure. asked me to do it, I had to uh, do it. But I, at that time, promised that I, uh, from now on, I will never uh, kill anyone. At that time, I was a bit. Je ne tuerai plus jamais personne. Uh, uh, afraid, uh, then I uh, decided to take an oath. Just going back to the last part, then I decided to take an oath. When did Donc, you decide to take the oath? I took an oath uh, the first time I, I came here. I did not remember the date, but at that time I came here for the first time and I did it. Okay, Mr. Witness, I, I, think I, I think I get you clearly now. Let me move on to another document. This is document number D258. Actually, strike that. No. Let me start with document A339. A339. And that's English 
ERN 00423275 through 004232. It's a one page document, excuse me. Uh, Khmer ERN 004160. French ERN 0042352. Perhaps this uh, document, Mr. Witness, let me ask you, with respect to your last statements, you, you, you just mentioned that you took an oath the first time you came to Phnom Penh. The document I'm referring to is a written record of the swearing of the witness, and that's dated 2 December 2009. That document purports to have been executed at 9 in the morning on the same day that you engaged in a confrontation with Doik here in Phnom Penh. My first question is, is this that, that oath that you were referring to? Is this the first time you remember taking an oath? Yes, I do. Thank you. Going back to the, the previous document, I mentioned the uh, document D258. And that's English ERN 00. 4101 413948 through 0043955. That, again, document D258 is a written record of a confrontation between you and the accused uh, now uh, convicted person, Doik. This is another document that you have made reference to several times over the, the course of these last two days. Perhaps that could be put on the screen and a hard copy given to the witness. I think you may have one already. <coughs> if not, I've got a spare copy. Let me know when you've had a chance to uh, have a look Alors, at it. Um, ce document et quand Mr. Witness, have you had a chance to, to see that document? Pu, uh, no. De ce document? Response, uh, no, not non, yet. Well, I just saw you looking at it. Vu que vous le ce document, dit le That's the one. I'm not sure I have um, understood the document because you only show only portion of it. No, I've, I've given you the entire document. You just had it in your hand.
จูนให้มันบางตัวเราเดือดตก Response yes indeed I um I have obtained the document I have kept here. Thank you. Again, that is a written record of a confrontation between you and Doik, and that document is dated also the 2nd of December 2009 at 9.15 a.m., so 15 minutes, reportedly 15 minutes after you took your oath. Do you recall that? Do you recall taking an oath and then beginning the confrontation? Response. I did not uh, meet him until I had uh, taken an oath first. Thank you. Thank you. Again, at the bottom of each page of this document, and again at the end, is a thumbprint, which purports to be yours. Could, could you have a look at that? And tell me, is that in fact your thumbprint? Did you in fact affirm this document by placing your thumbprint on the bottom of each page and at the end? I uh, do not recognize this uh, because uh, people who could uh, give signature of uh, Zamprin only those who are higher educated. I'm sorry, Mr. Witness, I, I didn't understand your response. Did you say that Question. only educated people could affix their thumbprint to a document? à poser leur empreinte digitale sur un document. Réponse. Réponse. Yes, I, I, I did say that, you know, like oui, uh, when, when people given some print, uh, it is really difficult digital, to check whether uh, the some print belongs to him or her unless you have something to uh, prove it. I, I know that the some print uh, here could be for someone else, but I recognize my handwriting on that piece of document. But I can presume that uh, the some prints belong to me anyway. Indeed, Mr. Witness, very... Very correct, you are. It is very difficult to recognize thumbprints. Do you, do you agree that this is your statement? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And just one more, Mr. Witness, one more. I'm referring now to document E3-423, formerly D274-223, and that is English ERN 00414587 through 00414611, Khmer ERN 00408429 through 00408453, French ERN. <coughs> Zero zero four three four eight zero six through zero zero four three four eight three one. Mr. Witness, I'm quite sure you have a copy of that. You've only twenty minutes ago or so been answering questions uh, put to you by the civil parties, but I do have a, a spare copy. Do you have it in front of you, that document? Un autre exemplaire. Avez-vous devant vous, Monsieur le Témoin, ce document? Donc. The president, uh, court officer, is now instructed to look at the document uh, and uh, have uh, it uh, be placed on the top of the other document so that witness can have a better look at it. pour que le témoin puisse en effet le voir.
It's quite a long document, Mr. Witness. Maître Yannouti, c'est un document. Do you recognize document that document? Il y a beaucoup de pages, Monsieur Témoin. Reconnaissez-vous ce document? Damn the a response. Réponse. I don't think I remember it. Non, je ne pense pas me souvenir de ça. This is the document that has a very long series of Maître questions Yannouti. and answered si answers, le document excuse me, a de which have been numbered. Longue série de questions qui ont toutes été and the various counsel in the room today have been making reference to those numbers and asking you questions about those questions, questions and answers. Does extraits. that help you? Do you remember this document now? Souvenir de ce document? Response, uh, I do now because oui. uh, when Maintenant, I come to this place more regularly, I am quite familiar with the document. Before I didn't. Parce que je suis bien Thank you, Mr. Witness. Document. Could you look at the Pour last bit? Well, before I go on, I just might say that this is a written record of an interview with you. It's dated the 2nd of December 2009. Could you turn to the final page of that document? Or perhaps the final page could be put on the screen. The President, you may proceed. The President, allez-y. I won't ask you about the thumbprint, but is that your signature underneath the thumbprint? Is that your name written there? Man. Response. I have seen the thumbprint now. Oui, je vois l'empreinte digitale. So is that in fact your statement? Est-ce donc votre déclaration? Man. Response. Yes. Oui. And do you also remember having taken an oath before Question. giving this statement vous -vous prêté in accordance with Rule 24 of the ECCC Internal Rules? Yes, I do, says the witness. Oui. Thank you, Mr. Witness. If I could very briefly go back to document D258, and if we could have placed on the screen, please, page 4, which is English ERN 00413942, Khmer ERN 00410164, French ERN 00413951. The President, Le you may proceed. Oui, Mr. Witness, on your screen, there's a bit highlighted Question. in a red box. I'll read that for you. This is a statement by the international co-prosecutor of Anson de Wilde Esmael. Before giving the floor to the witness, the co-prosecutors wish to impress upon him that they have absolutely no intention of prosecuting him for anything he may have done during the Khmer Rouge era and that he should have absolutely no concerns on that matter. Do you remember being told that by one of the prosecutors, one of the international prosecutors? Response, no, I don't. Thank you, Mr. Witness. 
question. The next bit is a statement Ensuite, by the co-investigating judge, Yubun Lang, to the witness. We are explaining to you that you will not be prosecuted for events that occurred in democratic Kampuchea and that you have the right not to incriminate yourself, although you also have the duty to speak the truth. That's also in that red box. Do you recall that bit being told to you by the co-investigating judge, the Cambodian co-investigating judge? Madame. Response. No, I don't remember it. I think I have forgotten it. Having heard those words I've read to you, do you understand those to be cautions, to be warnings, to be en les lisant? Advisements to yourself of a certain right that you have. Advertisement que l'on vous explique un droit dont vous jouissez. Response. I don't understand. Je ne comprends pas. Thank you. Question. Bonjour, merci. Mr. Witness, now I'd like to talk about a slightly Monsieur different témoin, topic. Sujet un peu and this again refers to E3423. C'est le document E3. It was the third statement la that I referred to. Document que fait and if we could look at page five of that document, that's ERN in English, 0041-4591. ERN Khmer, 0040-8432. And in French, 0043-4810. Perhaps that could be put on the screen, shown to the witness. Peut-on afficher ce document sur les écrans et le montrer aux témoins? Mr. Witness, the bit in the red box refers to as a question A18, question rather, question, question A18, answer A18. And that appears to be the last question that was given, the last answer that was given, excuse me, on that day. And then the text reads, this interview paused at 1620 hours on the same day and continued at 9.30 hours on the 3rd of December, 2009. Do you have any recollection of that time? De cet Perhaps I could help you first. That is when you ended one day of testimony, your first day of testimony with the investigators from the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, and you took a break, and you left, and then you came back the next morning. Do you remember that? Response. Réponse. No, I don't remember. Non. And I don't remember having pas. come to that place. Je ne me souviens pas d'être allé là. Which place, Mr. Witness? Question. Là. Où? Quel endroit? De Phnom Penh. À, à Phnom Penh. À, à le témoin. Le témoin. Response. Uh, I first um, 
was interviewed in Pailen, then a, in Phnom Penh. Eu so all together there were uh, on three occasions Donc, uh, that I was uh, interviewed. Thank you, Mr. Witness. When, when you were interviewed in Phnom Penh, do you remember ever being told by an investigator for the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges that if you told the truth, if you changed your original story and told the truth, that you wouldn't have to come back to Phnom Penh to give an appearance before the trial chamber? Do you remember being told that? Response. Response. During the first um, interview, Pendant I did not tell all the truth because I was scared. After I was uh, informed of the law and procedures, I was familiar with uh, these uh, procedures and I started uh, to be more truthful. Plus la vérité. I see. So can I take that as a no that you Question. do not recall being told by OCIJ investigators que vous ne vous that if you changed your story, you would not have to come back si to Phnom Penh and vous give testimony before the trial chamber? Respond. I think everything is already clear now. Je pense que tout est clair. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. Bon, je vous remercie, Did témoin. you discuss this this change of heart that you had, Mr. Witness? Your, your change of testimony. Did you discuss that with anyone? Vous avez changé d'idée de fait de changer vos déclarations. Est-ce que vous en avez parlé à qui que ce soit? Response. No, I didn't. No. And apart from the two Question. bits that I've read out to you donc, previously, were you given any other assurances by any member of the OCIJ? De la part du assurances des des that perhaps you would not be prosecuted. Que vous ne seriez pas poursuivi. Response. Réponse. I don't remember. Je ne me souviens Thank pas. you. What about by Question. the witness and evidence support unit, the WESU unit, de la Wesu, the, de la the individuals who are taking care of you now in Phnom Penh? Did euh, they ever provide any assurance to you? Donné que ce soit? Response. Oui. I don't know. Thank you. Réponse, je ne sais pas. Maître Yamoutsi. Bonjour, merci. One last question, Mr. Witness, Donc, and this question. is D, oh, excuse me, this has an E number, that's E3-423, that's D, formerly D23, stroke 23 we referred to this already. I'm looking now at English ERN 00414609, Khmer ERN 00408451, Just at the bottom of the page there, Mr. Witness. 
The question was, do you recall whether in January 1979 any Chinese delegation came to visit Cambodia? And answer 202, I did not know. I only knew that there was a circus team from China coming to perform at the Chaktum Theater Hall. I know that because I was guarding there. And the following question, during the performance of the Chinese circus team, do any senior leaders such as Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, Yang Seri, and so on go to watch that show? And your answer was, I knew that Nguyen Chia went to watch, watch that show, but I did not know about the other leaders because I was outside. Do you remember making or giving those answers? Madame. Response. Yes, I do. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And just turning back to a topic that I was on a moment before about assurances given to you by any assurances given to you by the prosecution, Weisu, or anyone. What have the Weisu unit, the Weisu people, told you since you've come to Phnom Penh? What kinds of things have they told you prior to your testimony? Response. I was not told anything. Response. No, on Marianne dit. And what about your meeting with them in December 2011 that Judge Lavergne referred to previously? What, what did they tell you then? Vous les avez rencontrés en décembre 2011, comme le juge Lavergne en a fait parler. Que vous ont-ils dit à ce moment-là? No, they did not tell me anything. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I have no further uh, questions. Ils n'ont rien dit. Maître Yanouti, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Témoin. Je n'ai plus d'autres questions. The President, uh, thank you, Counsel. Thank you, Mr. Witness and Duty Counsel for Witness. Merci aux témoins et son conseil. The court hearings on the testimonies of Witness So Tung L'audience has come to an appropriate end today. However, the chamber will have uh, another session for the whole morning. La chambre so that uh, une audience the remaining two matinée. councils uh, for Mr. Kilson Pon in Seri have. Uh, opportunities to put questions uh, to the witness. We have already been noted uh, that uh, councils would uh, need uh, one hour each. Uh, so we may uh, now ask, uh, uh, are we are asking witness to come back tomorrow and demain. that uh, his duty council is also invited oui. to Merci. come uh, to assist uh, Mr. Witness uh, for another morning session for tomorrow. Court officers is now, are now instructed uh, to ensure that uh, witness is uh, well coordinated by the West Sioux unit uh, so that uh, he can be properly accommodated. Uh, the court uh, is now adjourned. Uh, tomorrow's session will be resumed uh, by 9 a.m. Security personnel are now instructed uh, to bring all the three accused persons to the detention facility and have them returned to the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is adjourned.